I am uh, Kim Do. Uh, I am head of the Center for Psychiatric Neuroscience uh, within the Department of Psychiatry of uh, Lausanne University Hospital in Switzerland. And, uh, in, uh, and I am also head of the unit of research in schizophrenia, and, uh, which is composed of about 20 collaborators. I'm very excited to share with my colleagues and specifically coming from uh, clinics, this is, and from all countries from Europe, uh, to share with us uh, the latest recent work of my lab. And uh, this is concerning a translational approach in which we have both uh, branches, uh, clinical branches with patients at various stage of schizophrenia and also animal models, preclinical models. So coming from alteration that we see in patients going to animal models, searching for mechanism and having the, at the, in the two branch, the same assessment on end point in order to see if we can have early my biomarkers which we can um, uh, help us for early intervention and also early uh, drug target so for early uh, so at various stage of the disease and uh, what i want to share today is actually we have achieved the identification of a novel core mechanism uh, concerning oxidative stress and this is the convergence of many known mecha pathophysiological mechanisms such as NMDA receptor hyperfunction, neuroinflammation or redox dysregulation, it all converge to oxidative stress and uh, this is coming whether from interaction of risk genes or environmental risk factors during brain development. And uh, what is exciting is that we have now both validation in patients, so in animal models and first, and also in patients, that this oxidative stress lead to uh, impact on two main components. This is the parvabumine GABAergic interneurons, which act very important synchronization role in the microcircuit and very important for neural synchronization at high frequency and leading to problems of cognition. And on the other side, oxidative stress lead also on problem of oligodendrocytes, which make the myelin, so problem of myelination, and play a big role in the macrocircuit connectivity. And both in this oxidative stress induce uh, impairment in micro and macro circuit could be at the basis of the problems of neural synchronization, integration, and connectiv connectivity problem that could be at the basis of symptoms of dimension of disease. And this is what we are very exciting to, 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 to convey the message. And, uh, and, and, and the most exciting now is I will show for the first time that all that we have learned through, so coming from patients, validation in animal models, many animal models with genetic or environmental risk factors. From that, we also don't forget to come back to patient and that we have, we'll share with you the first time results for a, a clinical trial, so double blind, placebo controlled clinical trial in early psychosis patient with antioxidant. So glutathione precursor, which can improve symptoms in subgroup of patients. And that would pave the way for biomarker guide treatment. I'm very excited, uh, and, and also it's for me a privilege uh, to, to be ho and honored to come to get this invitation for a plenary lecture. Because it's maybe for the first time I'm invited to to, to, to meet and share our results with uh, European clinicians and also multidisciplinary colleagues in the field. Uh, usually I go to, uh, you know, uh, American or international 
uh, College of uh, Neuropsychopharmacology. But this is the first time for me to be invited uh, in a European context, and I am very, very pleased and, and honored for that. Yeah. And uh, for me also, uh, for, it's very useful to have contact with colleagues in Europe where we can also uh, build friend friendship, have a lot of collaboration, and also build the next generation of mentoring, the next generation of young colleagues which maybe will pursue what we have begin now. And especially I have some uh, thing, uh, so, so some, some convincing, com, uh, um, so I'm convinced that uh, clinician alone or neurobiology, basic neurobiology alone cannot do the work, but they have to work together. And this is this translational approach that uh, now we have done that since now more than, so more than two decades and going back to patient. This is what I think uh, young generation to build the next generation of translational psychiatry that is very exciting for me in Europa. Yeah.